Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 8th episode in Linux Privilege Escalation series. And in this episode, we'll be looking at how you can escalate your privileges through the help of path. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts and do want to know updates regarding this channel uh, or the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous videos, we discussed a lot of uh, escalation techniques. We covered kernel exploits. We covered sudo, suid, capabilities and cron job. So if you want to uh, check out them, so you can check out the uh, playlist uh, which is available on, ch on my channel for free. I will provide you the link for the playlist in the description below or you can go through from my channel page as well. So guys, uh, this video will be seeing how you can escalate the privileges through the help of a path. So let me give you a kind of brief here guys. So so path is a way, uh, path is a kind of environment variable. So I'll come back to this machine. So this is the uh, compromised machine. So you can see that if I do a who am I, so you can see the user is Karen. So this is a normal user. So it doesn't have any rights or anything like that. Okay. So, uh, like if I do a which and who am I, you can see there is a location here. See, uh, there is a kind of thing guys, like whatever the uh, command line commands or whatever the thing that we're running are located are nothing but some kind of applications or some kind of binary, which is located in some other location. And uh, I told you several times that in order to uh, execute a binary or a, a script or anything like that, you need to navigate to that location and you need to run by providing something like dot slash or sometimes you need to provide the name of the uh, script or the application that is uh, used to build that. Okay, but uh, it is not always possible to uh, run this thing like uh, I can't always go to this user bin directory and uh, to run this who am I? I need to access that as fast as I can. So here comes the uh, concept called as path variable. So if I do a simple echo or uh, you can simply do env. So you can see there are a lot of variables here, but the variable which we are interested right now is uh, this path variable, or you can also see it uh, like this. Uh, let me do clear. So echo, uh, and you need to add this dollar sign. It's a kind of a, a parameter that you need to do for Linux uh, variables. Okay, so these are kind of variables if you are uh, familiar with programming languages. So variables are some kind of data forms. So it stores some important data. Uh, like it reduces the concept of reusability. Okay, increases the concept of reusability. So you can see there are a lot of locations here. So I'll do once again, uh, which so you can use this command like which so it tells you where the particular command line uh, location is in or anything like that. So who am I? So you can see it is located in user bin directory. Okay, and if you can see in the echo path, so you can see there is a location like user bin here. See what happens is whenever you're trying to run something, a binder or anything like that. So the Linux, uh, Linux is going to look within this path directory. Okay. Within this path folder. So where there are a lot of directories here. Okay. So it is going to check in this directory, in this directory, in this directory and, and so on. If it is not there, it is going to tell like it is not available. If it is available, then it is going to run and it is going to show you the result. Okay, so that is what how this thing works. Okay, so that is a basic understanding regarding the path and you can also add new uh, locations. These are nothing but file locations guys. You can add the new locations to the path and uh, it can be good as well as bad as well. So here we'll be looking at how uh, we can try to escalate uh, through the help of this. Back to our uh, uh, this uh, room, try hack me room. Uh, the link for this has uh, will also be in the description below. You can do check that out. So they gave some basic understanding. You can read from there, and also if you want to see some kind of handbook notes or anything like that, so you can uh, you can follow. You can check out this my notes, a uh, previous creation notes. So this is kind of handbook kind of thing. So you can quickly access what's uh, what is what what is what etc like that. So let's come back and uh, you can see uh, there is something like what folders are under the path. Like there is uh, something which you can do. So here mostly we'll be working on some SUID stuff. So if you don't know SUID, so SUID is a kind of permission like read, write, executable. So which uh, which uh, 
uh, helps like uh, what what it does is like it allows a binder application to run as root without even mentioning sudo or password okay so it's a kind of permission so we'll be looking for that first of all so uh, like the material given here is kind of different so like uh, we'll be following the different thing that i'm going to show you so let's look for uh, this uh, thing so this command is used to find out all the suid bits you can seeing that uh, uh, hyphen s is the kind of thing for read write executable uh, for s is like uh, a symbol for suid and stuff so let me hit enter and uh, you can see like there will be an interesting part let's see whether there is any interesting part or anything like that okay so you can also finding some stuff here so if you want to check out how you can exploit etc like that you can always feel free to go to this gtfo bins okay so but th but that's a different topic uh, but here we'll be trying to ex uh, uh, like uh, trying to get escalation through the help of path okay so you can also go through this uh, gtfo bins.github.io and uh, you can check how you can escalate through the help of suids okay so let's come back and you can see there is an interesting file here guys so there is a file called as home uh, mod doc and test so this is a binary so test is the name of binary so let it might be some user defined binary so let's navigate to this location let's try to go to this location if possible uh, i think i copied that yes let me copy yes so let me do a clear and if i do cd and let me paste the location uh, yes i'm going i'm currently in that location so yes i i have some rights here and let me do ls and hyphen la so i'll see what are all the files and everything like that so there is a file here uh test so let i don't know what type of file it is but i can see there is other file which is a python file okay so here for the test you can see these are like default stuff like you can run them as root like these are suid and stuff so you can see it is s so which in the sense like suid stuff so uh in order to like uh, guys there is a cool trick trick for you for me for you to show so the one thing is like if you don't know what type of uh, like we'll encounter a lot of files with just a name like without some extension or anything like that in that case how you can find what type of uh, file is that so you can use a, a tool called as file so the tool name is file itself and you can specify the file name and path possible okay so you can see there is something like uh, it is related to linux so it might be a binary uh, which can be written in shell or anything like that bash or anything like that and also since we already know this thm dot type but i'll show you so you can see it is a python script and it is ascii text executable it's an executable so that is what uh, how you can find out the information regarding files so now let's try to run it okay let's try to run this test because we are already having this executable rights for this okay so let me hit test you can see it is accessing something called as thm so yes so this is where path is looking for like so i think if i can catch this test uh i think there is something which i cannot understand like it's a different thing but there uh, but there might be something like uh, some dependency or some command line uh, like there is something like thm which uh, it this particular tool requires but it is not uh, there so what we can try to do is like we can try to create uh what we can uh, add a new path okay new file path to the path variable and we can uh, maliciously uh, create some other thm uh, binary and we can try to ex uh, exploit that so that is what the guide here tells so all this is related to the how you can find out and stuff and if you go here so you can export the path simple so we'll be looking for the temp uh, temporary uh, uh, location so which is slash temp so let me go to uh, cd slash tmp okay so if i do an ls uh, you can see uh, i can have some like tmp is kind of a directory where everyone can do anything like you can write read you can create anything like that so let's add this particular tmp path to the path variable uh, tmp file path to the path variable so it is simple so let me do a clear so if i do a pwd i think i'm in temp yes uh, so export so export a path equals to okay and uh, name uh, look uh, the pa file path and colon and you need to specify the uh, dollar sign and path okay so that is what uh, even it is written here so now let's check with in once again so let's check the path variable once again uh, and let's see whether it's modified or not 
like guys this kind of a uh, technique is like kind of rare to find out but uh, yes you can try to if you know it it doesn't mean that it is going to be wrong so you can see there is a, our directory temp added here so that's fine so whenever there is uh, like whenever you are uh, doing something like this so let us create a small application or anything like that so echo uh, 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 let me add a thing like uh, who am I okay and uh, I'll give that to a, a file called as Satvik okay so if I do an ls you can see there is Satvik here I'll give the executable rights okay so whenever I run this Satvik so it is going to run this who am I because I'm not even like whether I can go to any directory like uh, home or anything like that and even if I run the same command, like you can see, like this particular thing is work. This is how this works. Okay, so that is what I'm trying to tell. So I'll navigate to the temp directory once again, and uh, let's create a THM. So that is what we require. Uh, THM track me in the sense. So slash bin slash sh or bash. Okay, anything is fine. And uh, let's put that into something called as THM, right? And let's give the executable rights for the THM okay so now we have done everything so let me paste this stuff here so now let's navigate to the directory where this test uh, the name uh, name of the binder which is test is located uh, so if i do i'll do clear once again if i do an ls you can see test is here so i'll run this test once again now you can see like uh, previously thrown an error that there is no thm anything like that which is this particular thm but uh, the uh, the developer like he configured in the wrong way uh, uh, through which we are able to exploit that now you can see we are root and uh, we are good to go so that is how this how you can try to uh, exploit this path uh, variable and uh, you can try to get the root privileges okay so that is it guys for today's video so this is an easy thing so you can uh, but i haven't uh, like to be frank like i haven't done this thing practically anywhere okay so it is like kind of rare okay most the things that i was able to do are like uh, sudo suid and a ca a cron job so these are these three are like three and this uh, kernel exploits as well so these four are like uh, i use them most and uh, uh, like most of the boxes on try hack me or hack the box have them like there might be some different machines which might be having this path and stuff as well but i haven't encountered them personally so uh, that comes to the end guys so we have done everything that we can do and uh, so that is it for today's video and in the next video so this is kind of a penultimate kind of episode and the ultimate or the final episode is going to be this nfs so network file sharing even this is kind of rare uh, but uh, i'll try to cover it out like uh, this is somewhat uh, less rarer than this path variable uh, but i'll try to cover it so it will be definitely helpful for you uh, if you if you uh, encounter it somewhere so that is it guys uh, for this video and uh, really thank you for watching this video till the end and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends so that my content could reach more people and i can also understand that you really liked my video so that is uh, this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you